would be thieves targeting parked cars in the suburbs. Only on two, this video showing exactly how they do it. And the suspects only getting away with a, a picture. CBS 2's Stephen Graves with a warning for car owners. This Monday morning around 415. But in the video, you can hear the cricket. And then, yeah, all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Six booms to be exact, as would be thieves in this SUV failed to break Robert Swin's Dodge Challenger window in Oak Lawn. By the time I went to the door, they were gone. But he checked the security camera at Oakdale Drive in Washington, only to find more. In the minutes before the banging, a person takes a picture of something in the front windshield. Then they walk back to the door, only to return to the dashboard again another flash. Once I saw that, I knew what was going on with my daughter's car. They used the VIN number to cut a key for it. VIN stands for vehicle identification number, usually on the dashboard. Basically the birth certificate or the DNA of a car. Locksmith Thomas Still says that info can give thieves the type of car parts to steal or when it comes to copying a key fob, the year of the vehicle. His staff uses it for their work. If they're going to be doing a Dodge, if they've got the right part, they've got the machine, they could actually do the marriage ceremony in usually under five minutes. CBS2 has reported before about fob replica crimes involving many car types. Matt Nillette runs Chicago Stolen Car Directory on Facebook and says it can happen to cars repeatedly. Because those people might be back to try and see if they can steal the car again. That's happened before too. But just this month, Dodge announced new safety add-ons like key programming lockdown, which prevents thieves from programming key fobs after breaking into a vehicle. Luckily, Schwinn only walked away with scratches to his window. And when it comes to protection of all car types, experts suggest getting a secondary alarm system to deter thieves. Reporting in Oak Lawn, Stephen Graves, CBS2 News. And neighbors tell Stephen that Oakland police warned them of multiple recent car thefts happening in the early morning hours. The department did not get back to us for the story.